the world's largest bike. Let me check it. This is the Wait a second. Okay. We ready. Real life invisibility cloak. And this right here looks awesome. Try not to say wow. This is a cross Why is between cold? a penny so, thing whoa. and a monster truck. It's the largest bicycle in the world, and despite looking so ridiculous, <laughs> it's also a heavy workout just to get moving. Same idea, just supercharged. This is the world's largest motorbike. Not only is it 16 feet 8 inches from the ground to the handlebars, but you need a ladder to get on board. Bruh. What do you get when you cross a four-wheeler with a pair of jet skis? A huge hole in your pocket, and infinite fun apparently. Bike Gone on a jet ski. One guy used a roller to mark out road signs. Now you just need to be able to drive straight. Isn't this about the world largest bike? I'm not seeing bike. Oh yeah. Oof, they tell me this, this is, is how roof insulation is installed, but I can't help but feel it's just for bit. So he bited me with the title, but this is a compilation of videos or something it's like the daily dose of internet they bite you with the title and it's only the first clip hidden marshmallow <laughs> this is some kind of poem here's a real life invisibility shield that can blur you out of existence and there i was thinking the cloak of invisibility was just fictional over-engineered feats of mechanical engineering today they're putting meat packers out of a job tomorrow skynet uh Want your tools looking brand new? This will cost a lot of people a job. Laser to burn off years of corrosion. Just keep your hands clear of the light. Oh, that's hot. That's Oof. Hot. This is satisfying to watch. I think I've seen this on an episode of Black Mirror. Robo dogs may look cute and all, dancing Robo in dogs? time, but trust me, this won't end well. It's time to stop. That's not right. <laughs> Somebody put a walkway in that field of mud. John Deere tractors laying down pavers since 1837. Ever wanted a door that wouldn't look out of place in Tony Stark's tech lab? Say no more. Power on. If you're living somewhere this cold and icy, it's probably best to check below for any cars or people but before... I... How can you do that without checking what is going on, <laughs> what is going on at the other... Uh, I just can't comprehend this. How just casually doing this? There could be people below you, bro. Imagine you are going out to smoke a cigarette, and and this shit is falling over you. You're breaking a ton of ice off your balcony. This guy demonstrates the perfect mattress to those that might accidentally wet the bed. Wait, wait, wait. Horse I want something like this for my shoes. Why they are not? Doing shoes with this matter. Accidentally, imagine your white shoes doing things like this. Like, isn't that would be awesome? But the bed. Wait, wait, wait. Horse noses are made of plasticine. Is every horse face this squishy? I have questions. What sorcery is this? I have no idea how this floor paint dries so fast. But the fact that this guy's shoes are still looking so fresh is the icing on the what? cake. Perfect. They say you need to practice 10,000 hours of something to achieve mastery. Wonder how many tons of cut watermelons it would take to- Bruh. If I do those- uh, If I try to do this, fewer of my fingers are out. Always stay in the shoe. To acquire these knife skills. Ever feel like your life is just going around in circles? Well, for this guy, that's the point. With his world's largest hula hoop. It's a good technique, though. Trimmers are for the weekend warrior. True professionals tame the jungle with a machete. When the boss skimps out on that money counting machine, it's time to pull out those master tier bill tallying skills. This guy knows. I, I can I can't believe he will count the correct number at, at the end. Money counting machine. It's time to. I can't believe that. Master tier bill tallying skills. This guy knows how to throw a hope a show. Or is it a shovel? Doesn't make that glide any less impressive. Um, this, this is cool though. Thinker. If he uses an axe, he can only split one log at a time. But using a 30 pound broadsword? Well, evidently that's five times more efficient. Impressive, impressive. Computer kids have been getting progressively more pro. Like this kid who manages some crazy air without even breaking a sweat. 
Ever tried to run across your parents' waterbed? Well, there's a place you can instantly relieve all that nostalgia. Just don't fall through. What can I say? Enthusiasts don't need a launch pad. They just yeet their drone up in the air at lightning speed. When your supercar doesn't have parking assist, there are ways to get out of a tight jam. There's just one catch. You gotta have skills like these. Anyone who's floated concrete by hand would definitely appreciate this work smarter, not harder backyard contraption. This no is very smart though. Here. Just a man with two of the most dexterous hands I've ever seen. Is this a watermelon? Anyone can ice skate, but can they glide over a grassy field smooth as silk? This guy can. Isn't this a detest? There's something? taking the skin off a mango the right way, and then there's taking the skin off the fuck. <laughs> the card is crazy for sure though. Just look at it go. This guy's been playing a little too much Tony Hawk. After a fast-paced run-up, he pulls off the world's first ever 1260. 1260. Watching this guy cut up a watermelon has me losing my rind. Guess seeding is believing. Give a drywall finisher a skimming blade and she'll make a smooth wall for a day. Teach a drywall finisher to use a skimming blade and she'll make smooth walls for life. Bike riding. You're doing it wrong. Or is he doing it super right? If I try to do this, I will break my neck for sure. Those bollards aren't as tough as they look. In fact, they're just as bendy as he is. I always thought nunchucks were imaginary weapons for Ninja Turtles, but blowing out a row of candles with a single swing? Easy. How about blindfolded? Not a problem. Rafael Nadal may be the king of clay, but judging from this bit of fancy footwork, there might be a chance he plays football for the Spanish national team. Turns out cooling off your yeah, feet Yeah, he probably is playing football at his free time. <clears throat> this is a cool trick. But you must be good with the legs to do it. Is worthy of a paparazzi audience when you're bouncing on a tightrope doing backflips. Painting road signs is still a manual process. All you need is a steady hand, a big stencil, and enough yellow paint to stay within the lines. Perfect. These two kayakers working in perfect synchronicity is truly a sight to behold. Eating breakfast while on vacation is pretty boring, unless you're hanging 10 off the wake of a boat while you smash down your scrambled eggs and bacon. Bro, you must be very good, very skillful with the surf to do something like this. This is not an amateur, for sure. If the vending machine steals your money, most people give it a little nudge. This guy straight up stomped it. Impressive, but he's still not getting his Snickers bar. When that little gelatinous ball of green... I really hate when you put your money and you order something from machines like this and your order is just stuck there and don't want to drop. And last time when I have this problem, I just <clears throat> catch the machine, start to pull it over, and what? Of course, it continued to be stuck, and I just gave up. Shrubbery on your lawn needs its weekly haircut. There really is only one guy for the job. Look at it wobble like a big old bowl of jello. Very the skillful. only thing that takes longer than unloading this many sacks of rice is restacking it back up again. Pull the wrong sack and you could get buried under the avalanche. Filthy screens are a nightmare to clean. Well, that was the case until leaf blowers came around. All you need is a little bit of soapy water and boom, all gone. Although Very satisfying. A massive bowl of gooey pink marshmallow on the counter looks like a ton of fun. I recommend you don't try this at home or you'll end up with ants. Tasty. What to order? What to order? Hmm. I'll take one steaming hot bowl of airborne soup, please. Check out that altitude. <laughs> for adults who don't like extra style points up, for style. A swing that's clearly not for kids. While most people opt for the stairs, this guy's mastered what's called the Australian rappel. Hey, when you only have 30 minutes for lunch, you gotta leave the job site fast. They say he <laughs> could be anything in life, so this man became a dolphin. Flipper ain't got nothing on him. They say to make hay while the sun shines. This farmer obviously got the memo. Everyone loves a slinky. Blink and you'll miss this superb sin sync dance of hyper color plastic. The last time I saw something like this was a long time ago. These were very cool when we were kids. Roller skates were big in the 80s. What all the kids are crazy about now is free skating. Where putting a foot wrong may have you eating a pavement sandwich. <laughs> 
This is what ultimate trust in your buddy looks like. Insane speed, a spinning bunch of bananas, and an ultra sharp sickle. This skater bends all the rules to show off his skills, including kicking off a tree to drop back into the bowl. Nice. At night, Dubai's Museum of the Future is a 360 degree experience like no other. Now, yeah, this would sure be cool to visit. going on here, but listen to the sound of those rolls of tape fly. Hold up, so that's how they make almond bars? There's just something about food production on an industrial scale that soothes the soul. This is nuts. Our grannies were pretty darn good at peeling apples to put in I, a pot. I'll cut my finger for sure if I do this. That's why I don't have really sharp knives at home, because I'll cut myself a lot. But they don't hold a candle to this guy. It's nice to know you can trade your high powered Japanese sports car for a set of inline blades and still get your car park Tokyo drift on. All that time spent in the campus quad honing your hacky sack skills make for one epic viral video. Whoever said going to college to get your degree was a waste of money? We used to play. The worst thing about we used to play this as a kids in the park. It's really cool. But we wasn't, we weren't, of course, that good. About ladders is that they're awkward and cumbersome to carry. The solution? Make them telescopic and collapsible. You're looking at a guy who's had to leave the dock in a hurry more than a few times. Great. Now I'm dizzy. And Nowadays, confused. cowboy, though. There's an old saying, when life gives you a kite board, you make huge air with it. Or did it have something to do with lemons? Kite, this is kite is cool. We have kite lessons in my town.